One of the key issues at the ongoing UN Conference of Parties on Climate Change is the implementation of mitigation projects at a national level. From 2011, among various sections, countries have made voluntary pledges to reduce emissions for 2020. According to the UN Environment Programme, these pledges cover the 80% of global emissions, but they are not ambitious enough to keep global warming below 2 degrees Celsius. In fact, we are on track for warming of almost 4 degrees. So we have seen that uh, countries have put forward proposals to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. And these proposals, if you add them up, they are not sufficient to keep climate at safe levels. Um, and uh, because of that, well, definitely uh, governments have to propose more, but we would also need something in addition. And this in addition could be uh, which, which some people call international cooperative initiatives. And the idea here is to find actors that want to move uh, because they are, have our own benefits for doing that. One example could be um, an initiative that's already happening to phase out inefficient lighting technologies. It's called Enlighten, and it's an initiative by UNEP, the UN Environment Programme, and the uh, Global Environment Facility. And uh, countries and also businesses can sign up to this uh, initiative, and if they do so, they have to commit to phase out inefficient lighting, but they will also get support in implementing this. Energy efficiency, uh, that was an example of lighting, is very interesting for developing countries. Uh, you can apply the same model for energy efficient appliances or for energy efficient buildings. Always uh, these activities, they pay off in the long term, but they have a barrier of upfront investments. And there, if you find the right coalitions of the right uh, actors, then one can, can help here. Another area is uh, the growing electricity demand from developing countries. And here, a cooperation on, for example, renewable energy uh, could also help significantly to uh, 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 satisfy this demand, especially for uh, rural areas where uh, the electrification is, is, is not there their uh, systems with renewable energy can definitely help. The last report from the World Energy Council on Energy Sustainability, presented last week in Warsaw, says that a total of 19.3 trillion to 26.7 trillion US dollars must be invested globally in electricity infrastructure up to 2050 to support growing global energy needs. Analysts agree it might be hard to get governments and industries to cooperate, but it is crucial for the implementation of clean technologies in developing countries.